the one thing that I did like but kind of also scared me a little bit was the touch tunnel which I don't know if they still have that here, if, uh, if that was removed years ago. It's still here. Oh, it is still here, okay. The one thing I always wanted to know is they always told us keep your hand on, I forgot either, the, it was on keep your hand on one side of the wall, and I always wanted to know what would happen if you kept your hand on the other. And people used to joke about like, you, you disappear into the tunnel or something, or you know, you get, you know, you take a different path and disappear, so. Never found that out, but who knows. My name is Ryan Olja. Here we have the Hercules Upper Body Exoskeleton Senior Design Project. Uh, essentially, the operator is going to strap in and it's going to be able to actuate simulating the bicep, the tricep, and shoulder for full range of motion as you would have uh, anatomically. My affinity for science and math started early on in middle school, in high school, taking more advanced physics courses, sciences. Um, I just always loved them, you know, I, I picked up on, on them quickly. Hello, my name is uh, Brooke Gubray. I'm a, a PhD student at Stephen Institute of Technology. Uh, and I'm, we're here today to kind of demonstrate our omnidirectional mobility platform. The uh, unique thing about it is we're using balls instead of wheels for mobility. Uh, what this allows us to do is it allows us to create a mobility platform that's a lot more agile. So with the ball you can roll around in any direction, whereas with the wheel you're kind of limited in the emotion that you're able to create. My name is Eric Thiel and this is my senior thesis project. It is uh, an open sourced electric guitar. Uh, so basically what makes this guitar open sourced is that it has a uh, computer in it, a Raspberry Pi microcomputer, data I'm able to create any guitar effect that I want. Um, and basically it's able to edit the guitar signal in real time and output it through any guitar amplifier. I remember being real young and very much into uh, astronomy and space, and that led me to uh, building model rockets uh, when I was younger, in middle school and such. And uh, that led me to uh, want to be a mechanical engineer. My name is Andrew Deutschman. I am a mechanical and electrical engineer. I just graduated from Stevens Institute of Technology. And uh, this I have is a uh, autonomous rail coupling system. What happens is there's a shuttle car that's already waiting at the station. Passengers can board that shuttle car and then when the train passes by the station, the shuttle car will depart the station, catch up to the train, and you move from the shuttle car to the body of the train, the rest of the train cars. And then when you approach the next station, what that shuttle car does is it will detach from the train and arrive in the station. So what got me into science, uh, I was more of a very, ha I was a very hands-on person, like taking things apart. Um, Legos, I'm sure a lot of people today really enjoy Legos, and that was one of the big uh, things for me. Hi, I'm Charles Romanello. Um, the bipedal walking robot that we have here works by having direct drive servos to act as your hip joint and your knee joint, and a passive with the, with the springs to act as your ankle joint. So it acts as your Achilles tendon and the other, the other tendons in the front of your foot. When I was young, I always had an interest in the, the science, like how things work. Why does the world work the way it does? Why do different things work the way they do? 